transfers and supplies again. Um, today, a short video on DTF printers and just keeping them maintained in a non-print day. So uh, today we're not, we didn't really do any printing with this 12-inch uh, uh, printer. So I'm going to run um, a couple of cleanings. Going to do a quick um, print test, and then I'm going to print one design. And I do that every day with this printer. Um, if we if not printed, um, used it for printing for the day. So that's an everyday thing. So we'll show you real quick what that looks like. And this is again what your typical for just about any DTF printer is going to be um, if you're not going to use your printer for the day. So if you let your printer sit for two or three, four days, you want to do this every day, at least a couple of cleaning cycles. All right, so here, here we go. All right, guys, so um, in better print here for that is used for this um, XP600 computer here you can see up here. Um, for this printer, we're going to go ahead and hit the clean button. We're going to do a normal cleaning. So during a normal cleaning with a DTF printer, uh, it's going to do a flush out. It's going to force ink through the head. Um, then it's going to come over. It's going to suck out of the uh, dock station there. And then it's going to do another spray out of the nozzles. Okay, and then it's going to re reseal itself. So now that's the spray out. Okay. And then the head gets resealed. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do another cleaning, so just the same thing. Um, typically, when you start for the day with printing with DTF, you're going to do two to four cleanings every time, um, and that's that's very normal. So we're going to do two though for the maintenance. Okay, so um, as we're printing this full image, we won't obviously tape all of that, but you're going to run an image that's got a good range of color. Um, as you are printing a DTF, you want to make sure that your colors are coming in with no streaks in the color. Uh, and you want to make sure your white is coming down at a good rate. Now, for some reason with this printer, as it just begins, it starts the white a little slow, so typically we, we would stop here if we're, we're ready to go. Um, if you see quite a bit of banding in your color, you might want to do another re-clean re and then restart the print just to make sure the heads are exactly where it needs to be to kind of be set for the day. But we will go ahead and let this run and then we'll show you the final step here in just a second. Alright guys, so we're down to our last step here of just running uh, maintenance on the printer for the day. Um, got my white cap solution here. Um, I've got a decent amount of that in a quick little syringe here. So we're going to here, towards the end of the print, um, I'm going to go ahead and add solution down in here in the docking station. Uh, you want to get that fairly full. Sorry, this syringe is getting a little old. Um, you want to go ahead and try to fill that to the, a certain extent. I'm going to wipe around the outside a little bit there. Um, now, you can also at the end here, if you want to run a final cleaning as, after it's printed, I don't typically do that. If I've been printing with the printer for quite some time uh, on a normal day, I will run a cleaning at the end of the day to kind of clean the head out and then seal it with the wet cap solution. So here at the end, of the print. Now I've got my solution in there. It's going to bring the docking station up and seal to the head with that solution. And that's going to help keep your print head kicking for hundreds and thousands of prints. Um, if you're printing with your printer every day, this is a um, you know obviously something you're going to be doing naturally. But if you're not printing with it, it's a great idea to do this once a day to keep your printer, printer in tip-top shape. So everything is working the way it should be when you need it um, to get to your printing. Um, so this is a really good idea to do that. Remember, weight cap solution is important. Even if you stop printing for so long during the day, you want to weight cap your print head um, to make sure and keep that uh, print head completely moist. 
and that's what helps keep your printer really moving along well with DTF. Thank you.